Good morning. Today we'll be making a day trip to Magical Sintra, another must see if you're visiting Lisbon, the capital of Portugal. After countless hours of research, we have crafted the perfect plan. It includes visiting the top two attractions Quinta de Regaleira with a guided tour and the National Palace of Pena, but also enjoying the town of Sintra itself. We need to get to Quinta de Regaleira before 10, otherwise the guided tour will start without us. We have a very small margin for error because we choose not to wake up too early. That's not good. We have exactly one minute before the train leaves. <laughs> Don't worry, the plan was always to catch the next train at 8.40. While everybody is rushing to take one of the two buses which circle through the Sintra attractions, we are ordering an Uber. It costs the same, but will be faster and more comfy. We arrived just on time and even caught a rare snowfall, which turned out to be from someone cutting a tree. And yes, <laughs> safety first. We're gonna go to the top. That's Joao, our very knowledgeable and entertaining guide. Better for us to have less people. We're gonna finish here, okay? Where we are in the palace. <laughs> We are now entering the mystic Quinto de Recolera initiation well. It's a well, imagine, but it's not meant to be full of water. You would ask initiation, but uh, to which secret order? We're talking about the Freemasons. That it's more than just a well, it's an inverted tower. We have the connection to Dante the nine stages of hell. I'm wondering, without convenient illumination, what would guide us in the darkness? Heart, left, takes us to the light. If we went to the little tunnel that is on the right, you saw a little tunnel, it was going to take us to our own death. Okay, we made it through the secret ritual. So, who was the owner of all that? Antonio, Augusto, Carvalho, Monteiro. It's one person, and we were talking about then the owner of all this. Okay, the gold, the wood, the coffee construction. He became a multimillionaire. He was known as Monteiro dos Milhões, Monteiro the Millionaire. Let's look inside the palace before saying goodbye to Quinta, the regulator. We were going to order an Uber, but the tuk-tuk driver approached us. For 5 euros more, we opted for variety. We are heading for the Sintra Municipal Market to have lunch following Joao's recommendation. My friend, let me pass. I will explain you here how do you need to exit the street I am entering. Thank you, yeah. So you go behind me. Okay, enjoy Thank our you. meal. Thank you, you too. Amazing. 
now we have two hours to explore the historic center of Sintra before taking a Uber to Peña Palace. We just entered the park and National Palace of Pena, the jewel in the crown of Ferdinand II, the artist king. Our time slot to enter the castle is 15.30, so we will first do that and then stroll the mystic gardens. <laughs> but first, a quick fix for Petya. It is sunny around, but the palace is up in the clouds. We now have an hour and a half to explore the enchanted forest around the palace. In retrospect, we could have spent an hour less in the historic center to have more time in the gardens. Also, my phone battery is almost empty and uh, we will show many pictures from the gardens. Thank you for sharing this magical day with us. If you've enjoyed this vlog, please give it a like. Yes, yes. And subscribe if you want to join our travel family and explore the world with us.